Hi there, my friends. Welcome to KPOZ, KPOZ, where we talk only about the good stuff. It is May 14th. It is Thursday, and I hope you're doing well. My whole goal in jumping on here each day is to share with you something that I've learned, an inspiring story, and a little quote or an inspiring reading that will add value to your life. And I got to tell you, this has been fun for me. I'm so glad I've kind of committed to doing this because I've learned some really fun and interesting things. And what I want to share with you today that I learned, two things. One, did you guys know this? In Singapore, it is illegal to purchase gum or sell gum. And this happened, I think, in 1992, the, quote, powers that be, if you will. They were noticing that there was a lot of chewed gum being left on sidewalks and in the streets and on park benches and in garbage cans. So they said, okay, we're, this, this is not okay with us, so we're going to make it illegal to purchase gum or to sell gum unless you need it for medical reasons and then you have to have a prescription from your doctor and purchase it from your doctor or from the pharmacy. So there you have it. You can't buy gum in Singapore. Second thing I learned is in Italy, rounds of cheese are actually used as collateral for loans that cheesemakers get from the banks. The banks there actually have vaults where they store this cheese while it goes through the aging process. And then once the cheese matures to its perfect age, the bank gives it back to the cheesemaker and the cheesemaker pays off their loan. I had no idea. So in Italy, cheese is like gold. I thought that was fun and interesting and I just, I didn't know it. What's my inspiring story today? Well, I was reading yesterday about a mom who shared that her eight-year-old son came up to her one day and gave her a hug and said, mom, you're the best mom in the world. And she kind of looked at him and she said, now, how do you know that? Because you haven't met all the moms in the world. And this little boy squeezed her even tighter and said, yes, I have. You are my world. Now, how cute is that? Would that just melt your heart if you were a mom that your eight-year-old son said that to you? So I thought that was a fun story to share with you today. And then finally, I want to have you consider this question, live with this question today and see where you take it for yourself. And the question is, what does your joy look like today? What does your joy look like today? And my coaching is that we get to decide how our thoughts are in our lives and the meaning that we give to events in our life. And if we show up and stay present to the state of joy, then things that happen around us will be joyful. So I want you to ask yourself, what does your joy look like today? And the other thing I encourage you to do is put some joy in somebody else's life. Put a smile on a face today. Not only will it give them a lot of joy, it will also up your joy quota. All right. And then finally, I want to leave you with a quote. I use this quote in my book. My book's titled, Keep Your Ass in the Saddle. This is a quote by C.S. Lewis. And it is, hardships often prepare ordinary people for extraordinary destiny. And I thought that was appropriate for this timeout that we're going through together. There, in my humble observation, there's going to be a lot of good that comes out of this. And so let's focus on the good. Let's stay in the game. Don't, don't plug into the fear and don't plug into the, some of the craziness that's going on right now. Get out there. Get up every day. Dust yourself off. Go out and figure out how you're going to serve others. Figure out what your purpose is as a result of going through this. Maybe some of you have gone through some big pivots in your life because you've experienced this you know, historical event that we're going through. So remember that hardships often prepare ordinary people for extraordinary destiny. And until I see you again tomorrow, K Pause is out, K P O Z, where we talk only about the good stuff. Have a kick ass day, and I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Bye bye, and take care.